have I ever mentioned how much I love exploring a new body of water or a new waterway and especially kayaking a new stream for the first time. Uh, I got a, I'm going down here just to the Tennessee Georgia border to fish on a creek that I've never fished on before. I've actually driven over this creek a bunch of times. Didn't even know it was kayakable, but there's actually, uh, there's a public kayak ramp. It's about six miles and I think it's some pretty skinny water. I'm really excited to see what it looks like. How hard is it gonna to be to kayak? Are we gonna catch fish? It's kind of cold, but I think we'll find something. It's gonna be interesting either way. Oh, the water looks good. Oh, that's actually a pretty big area right here. Okay, this is, a, this is where I'm taking out at. It's pretty big looking right here. So this may be a really fun float. The water is pretty clear. This, uh, this creek doesn't get really crystal clear. It's got more of a mud bottom than some of the streams I fish, but the water is pretty clear. It just can't hard, it's hard to tell. <laughs> You're down in there. Yeah. But it's oh. Give me a push. Yeah, that's nasty. Just for the water and for the cold. There's, there's more water than I thought. It's bigger. I bet it could get real low at some times. Yeah, it gets real low. Just one of those things. There's a fish. Right. The old white grub came through. Red breast. Number one, we got a fish today. I had to switch up. It's a uh, little yum curly tail. Uh, I don't even have any of these. I picked up a pack from Walmart. And uh, we're an hour and seven minutes in and I got a red breast. It's kind of pale, real pale. Ow. But that's the first bite that I know is a bite. Hopefully as it warms up today, because I think we've got at least a few more hours of kayaking that some uh, other fish will show up. But I'm glad to see that. That's good to see him hit that. It's time to get the fish. Oh my God. Two or three different lures here I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna try this one out. Oh, afraid to bring out those big ones. Bring out those. I feel like you got just as good a chance to catch like a, a three pound largemouth as you do a bluegill here. There we go, there we go. I knew it'd show up at some point. I knew it'd be somewhere. Oh, it's got a lamprey on it too. All right, I don't know how good it's hooked. I think it looks solid. Let's get this fish in here. Oh, yeah. Oh man, he's rough looking. Got me a bass on a spinnerbait. This is a, I'll show you that in a minute maybe. But uh, largemouth, he had a lamprey on it when I saw it, but dude, he's had a few scars and stuff on him. Oh, he had, he's had a few lampreys it looks like, but that lamprey, a lot of times what they do, they, they fall off whenever the fish start fighting. And I saw it on its belly and then it, when it came up, it was gone. 15 and a half. Good fish. So I only brought two rods, a medium light and a medium. And you don't usually throw a spinnerbait on a medium, but this is a pretty lightweight one. It's a 3 8 ounce, so it's not too heavy for this rod. And that's that's a lure that when it's been slow like this and this kind of water, 
when we get snagged a lot, usually it catches you something. I think you can go around the left side of this. Looks open. Kind of. A little bit swift. Oh, oh. oh no. About to lose a camera. It's just gonna be those days. There's gonna be a few good ones. I'm ready to get them. All right, I've kind of been going back and forth a few things. Went back to the spinner bait. I feel like it's my best chance. Look at the spotted bass. Oh wow. Oh man. Woo. Look how fat that is. Good spotted bass. Hopefully it shows up. We got the sun on my back. But there was another one right with it. All of a sudden, I, this dude hammered it. I was pulling it out a little area over there. And I was fighting him, another one was with it, so they're probably spawning. Maybe it could have been a male and a female. But this one was definitely bigger and it's fat, probably full of eggs. 15 and three quarters. I'll take a picture of this one. Whew, right past the interstate and then boom. There we go. Nice fish there. Well, I kind of thought coming into the day, I was like, it's it's either gonna be really good, or it's, which, I mean, kind of, it's always gonna be good or bad, or it's gonna be slow and there'll be a few good ones sprinkled in, because I know that the fish are eating. You can tell that guy been eating. Uh, over here, crooked. You can tell that guy had been eating, and it's probably a female with eggs or something, but, all right. Maybe we're gonna get into a few more of them, I'm not sure. But that was a spotted bass, that was cool. Oh, come on, that's a fish. Come on, there's gotta be something there. Come on. No. No. I didn't even know I had a fish on there. I, I did too. He had me around that tree, I guess. <laughs> oh, a little large mouth. First one on the yum dinger. I thought I was snagged. Yeah, I guess I was snagged and a fish. Well, we are definitely into Tennessee now. So we don't have a lot left. Fishing, I'm finally starting to get a, you know, I don't know, a few bites here. I think as it's warming up, it's been better, but it's definitely a slow day so far, but we're not done yet. I think we might be able to recover here and get a few fish kind of maybe quick right here at the end as it's, it's about, it's a 145, really warming up. Maybe a few more, a few more bass hopefully will show up. Johnny Morris has his own beef jerky too. Dude. 
Eagle. Is that an eagle? Yeah. Wow. It's good. It means we're about to catch fish. <laughs> oh, right where the fish should be. A little bit spotted bass, about, oh, big rock right here. About four inches long. Ah, need to make a, oh man, it's probably one right here underneath me. We'll try to turn around and make a couple casts. Whoa! forget sometimes or at least over the winter when I don't do a lot of this skinny water kayaking this, these uh, streams they flow faster than you think and all the good fishing areas are usually right in a right in a uh, current or a, and uh, you know you look for that current break right on a strong current somewhere the fish are gonna be there it's hard to get those casts there and stay there and maintain it so it's a good start to the year good start first uh, like skinny water kayak float this year. Look at those expert skills. <laughs> those cows up there are like, what is going on over here? There. Oh, we'll just keep some out of there. Beaver, I think. Well, I needed that. It's been a little bit since I caught a fish. Or I caught the little one a while back and I got a little bite. That's another spot. I don't know if it'd be 12 inches. If I was doing a tournament, I'd have two solid keepers. And, and, nope. Not long enough, about 11 inches. Mowing the grass. I'm gonna have to do that pretty soon. Well, I made it to the takeout. Smell of fresh cut grass smells good. Well, let me give you a rundown of uh, how this ended out. This was uh, first, it's my first skinny water kayak trip of the year where I put in and took out another place and in a small stream where you're not gonna go with boats. I've been on the Hawassi once and I think it's the only river I've been on. And uh, well, I may have went to another river too, but this one was, was flowing through and I took the uh, native uh, Slayer 10 without the um, propel drive, didn't need it in here and um, it did great. I actually really like it. It feels like it's great for this type of water. We had to carry our kayaks in and out, so it was great to have to move it around. I only brought two rods with me. If I brought another rod, I should have brought another medium heavy because I didn't have one of those for a spinner, but it gets kind of crowded. There's not a lot of room on the side, so I'm gonna have to get a rod holder for that. Uh, these are the boots I've been wearing. These are the Choda hybrids. Um, I forgot to leave the information in the video today. I'll leave those. But I wore those, that way if I do have to get out, I can walk and drag my kayak, which the water was up, so we didn't have to drag any. And this is also a new section I've never been through there before. Starts in uh, Georgia, ends up in Chattanooga, right behind Bass Pro. And uh, it was actually a really cool section. Um, didn't get a lot of fish, but there's I know there's potential for a lot more. And it's still kind of cold, has been some cold nights. I think it'll get real active. Took us about five hours and we were going uh, steady, steady pace. Uh, if the water was low, it might take longer um, and you would fish it uh, harder. But we went right through, saw eagles and a um, bunch of other birds, hawks and owls and a lot of cool stuff out there. 
all in all a great trip the spinnerbait got pretty much all my fish and i tried other lures but um when it comes to a, a, a stream like that it's got a lot of brush and debris um where you're get, i'm getting hung up a bunch of times trying to fish bottom and the current was flowing strong spinnerbait's usually what i'm going to turn to and um i usually do good in streams and creeks like that anyway so all in all a uh, pretty solid day glad i got out and explored a new area even though it wasn't the most productive day it was a great experience and every time you can explore a new body of water you learn something new and it's something i can go back to i'll definitely come back to this area hopefully sometime soon